Hello everyone, I am Pepino back playing Kerbal Space Program and last episode we extended our space station by docking this little guy right here to our original space station. Now what I'm doing is uh, taking the extra fuel from inside of these uh, fuel tanks here and I am transferring it as much as I can into our big space station. Whoops, can't do that, can I? I have to keep this open. Uh, so we're transferring in all of the fuel and oxidizer that we can so that this thing is going to be full and then we can try decouple these and hopefully that'll work well and not destroy anything. Um, and then once we do that, it's just going to be little touch-ups to the space station that we need to make uh, and then everything should be looking good uh, and like I said up here we have these docking ports where we are gonna be able to um, possibly uh, add on more additions to the space station as well as if there are any ships up in orbit that uh, need fuel we could try dock them here and refill them so that's the point of having all these fuel tanks aboard the space station um alright so now this is gonna be a fairly slow process cause what I'm gonna do is decouple these that uh... I have been uh or that I'm done with and oh uh, did this one still have fuel in it really huh I guess it did but we were full on the station anyway so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, just let these float away and actually if I just end the flights on these that should clear the debris so it's gonna be a little bit of a long process but I'm just explaining what I'm doing and I'll bring you back as soon as we're done with that and then we can begin working on our next project okay now we are ready for our next mission and we've got Billy Bobbly Kerman back uh, I don't know if that's the same Billy Bobbly if it's supposed to be or not I'm assuming I'm assuming it's a different one uh, but we got Billy Bobbly Harori and Irvin Kerman all back and they are going to create our moon base. This is our moon base lander and uh, yeah basically what's gonna happen is this stuff's gonna get it all to the moon and then this will land with housing for four Kerbals. Uh, we could actually fit seven inside of there but this little thing has enough housing for four and it's got power and all of that stuff so uh, yeah hopefully we could have our first moon base so let's just make sure that uh, that's a terrible time to launch so we're going to uh, speed up time a bit here until we get a better angle to launch that's gonna take us to the moon alright a little farther maybe even alright right there should be good and we'll set the moon as a target and we are ready to launch so alright here we go launching in three two one Alright, we've got lots of solid fuel boosters on here, um, so hopefully that doesn't cause any difficulties. Uh, I don't think it should, it looks like we're going to be fine. Um, we're, going, uh, we're going up pretty quickly. Uh, ooh, we're getting a little overheating, but I think that's just caused by the solid fuel boosters and it doesn't look like it's progressing very quickly 
So I think the solid fuel will run out before we have to worry about the overheat. So that shouldn't be a big deal at all. And now, we just wait for the solid fuel boosters to run out, and these guys are freaking out. The Kerbal's down there. Um, but there it is. There is the moon, where we will hopefully have a base soon enough. Alright. Drop the solid fuel boosters. And now let's just hope that these remaining stages have enough fuel. Uh, what am I doing? Let's zoom in. Have enough fuel to get us out to the moon. Uh, our Kerbin Apoapsis is rising. And we set the moon as a target, right? Yes, we did. Alright. So, now it's just going to be a waiting game and uh, hoping that we have enough fuel. So I'll bring you back in a little bit once we've extended our apoapsis further and we are hopefully ready for a moon encounter. Okay, well we are close to running out of fuel on this stage and our apoapsis is not where it needs to be. So, I'm hoping that our final stage of our ship is going to have enough fuel to not only get us out uh, to the moon, but also land us there as well. So, alright, well, there we go. And there we go, our apoapsis is climbing quite a bit. Um, so we need to get a moon encounter. Uh, and then we can throttle down. Alright. Come on, moon encounter. Uh, alright. Alright. I wonder if we can use RCS fuel to get this. Because I want to preserve as much actual fuel as possible, but RCS fuel is going to take forever. Alright, there we go. We got a moon encounter. Let's bring our periapsis down a bunch. Alright, good enough. Good enough. Now, we will wait for that moon encounter, and then I will bring you guys back, but, uh, these three are going to have an interesting ride. I don't know if we've got enough fuel built into this system to survive this. Um, we'll have to just hope so. So, alright, we'll be right back. Okay, so we've had our Mune encounter. Now, we got to turn over here and eliminate any uh, velocity we have by burning in retrograde so uh, this is gonna just destroy our fuel isn't it oh wow wow that's that's not good the amount of fuel that we are using right now is much higher than I would like it to be um uh oh alright well that'll have to do We've got uh, not a lot of fuel left, really. We really don't. Um, but it might be enough, possibly. I don't know. We're going to have to see. We've got uh, more lateral movement than I would like as well. Uh, but we'll deal with that later. Because right now, we have to be very, very fuel efficient for the rest of this mission. So, alright, I will get us down closer. I'll wait till we get down closer to the moon. And then, uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, we're down below 50,000 meters now. And, uh, we are going very quickly. I'm not going to burn until around 20,000 because I need to be as fuel efficient as possible and 
it's not looking good at this point. We're going very quickly. So this is going to be by far my most difficult moon landing ever. And I don't know that these guys are going to make it. But we have to try. We have to try. So let's see here. All right, right about now. Let's start this burn. And let's just full throttle for a tiny bit. Slow ourselves down a good amount. All right, now let's make sure we are still burning the right direction at least. All right. Um, now, we may have used up a little more fuel than we should have there. Um, we're now at under 10,000 meters, and we don't have a lot of fuel left. Um, the guys are all really happy. I'm not sure why. Um, I am a bit nervous for them at this point. But what are you going to do, I guess? we got to hope for the best. All right, I'll try another burn at maybe 5,000 meters. Uh, my, my guesstimation skills have to be incredible for this game because that's all I do. I don't know enough to do anything else. Well, now they're starting to get worried. They finally figured out what's actually happening and that it's not a good thing. But, all right, so let's slow ourselves down. Um, we can't slow ourselves down too much too soon, but we also can't come in too quickly. It's a very, very, uh, a very tense situation with little room for error now. Oh boy. Alright. A little under 2,000 meters. We will try and uh, slow ourselves down to less than 10 meters per second. Because that's the velocity we're going to need to be at. Alright. This lateral movement. All right, save fuel. Uh, we may have done that a little too early. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. Not good at all. Come on. Come on. There's the shadow. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I couldn't really afford to do that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We are so, so close. Come on. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh my god. We just landed a moon base with that much fuel left. Wow. Holy cow. That is absolutely amazing. No, oh my god. I cannot believe that that just happened. I really can't believe that just happened. 2.39, I believe, liters of fuel out of 1,440. 2.39. That is incredible. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we have a moon base. First things first, let's get these guys out of there.
and they can uh, begin to explore. Let's extend these ladders. Wow. I, I still really can't quite believe what just happened. Um, Alright, so there's our ladders. We can turn on the lights, although it's not too dark right now, so we don't really need to. But, wow. Wow, we have a moon base. Let's look on the map, too. How close are we to the equator? Oh, that's amazing. We're right on the equator. That's exactly what you want. This could not have gone much better. Really, it couldn't have. Uh, and now, let's uh, get these guys out of the base. We can turn the lights off for now. Billy Bobbly, let's go. All right, down the ladder, and I'm I'm assuming this is a different Billy Bobbly. It's okay for them to have the same names. Some people have the same names as well. So, uh, he is the second Billy Bobbly Kerman ever on the moon. So we'll put him right there, and then. Hirori. Okay, well, my game crashed, but luckily everything saved fine. So now we can get these guys out again. Sorry about that. Uh, don't really know what happened. And actually, we didn't put the ladders down yet, did we? No. Alright, uh, so we'll put these ladders down again. And, uh, yeah, the game just froze there for a second, and then it said that it had crashed. So, alright. He can just hop down. Who needs ladders? Alright, now, let's try get these others out. Now we'll try get Harori out, and hope that it doesn't crash again. Oh, there we go. And the last one is Irvin. And here he goes. And woohoo! Alright, jump down, Irvin. Join your crewmates on the surface of the moon. And now we will. Oh, wait, we can't extend the solar panels with no one in there. Alright, uh, well, Billy Bobbly, you're gonna have to climb back up there and extend those solar panels so that, uh, we are able to have electricity. Alright. Now we'll extend these panels. We've got four large solar arrays and three battery packs. And so the sun is right up there, actually almost eclipsed by Kerbin. Um, but there we go. All right. Now we can get Billy Bobbly out and have him join up with the guys down on the surface. Alright, there they are. The successful inhabitants of our moon base. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed it. This was definitely one of the more uh, intense episodes. And we have a moon base, which we can hopefully uh, expand and do some other things with in the future. So, all right. This has been I Am Pepino, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.